video will go through the steps to visualizing data using the charts feature in Excel. Now, if you're following along with the spreadsheet from the tutorial, uh, you might be looking at this middle tab much the same way as I have it here. For this tutorial, we are going to be using the murder rate, um, which we calculate in a separate video, but I'll quickly go through how to add that um, for this tutorial. So if you select column D and right click and insert a new column, we will add a column for the murder rate. And in the top cell, we'll, we'll type in equals, which is the start of our formula. C2, which is our offense number, divided by population, and multiply that by 100,000. And we had formatted these cells to make the murder rate have only two decimal points. And then applied that formula to all of our different counties. And then removed the color in the background. So if you need to see those steps uh, in a slower, there's a separate video to demonstrate that. So right now we're going to visualize this data. So if you're writing a story about the murder rate in the different counties, um, you could describe it in text, but it's nice to have a visual to show people how these compare to each other. And we can see that um, New Haven and Hartford have higher murder rates than the state overall, and then some of the other uh, smaller counties as well. Anytime you want to insert a chart, you'll want to highlight the information that you want in your chart. Now we could copy and paste just the murder rate and the agency um, over here and make a chart just like that. But you can also highlight all of this information and then remove parts of it when you're working with your chart, which is helpful. So if I've highlighted all four boxes because I want agency and I want murder rate, and I come up to my Options tab and click on Charts. I can then insert, in this case, we'll do a column bar chart. And it inserts this chart right into my Excel spreadsheet. And so you can see population is distorting this chart because we have 3.5 million as one of our data points. And the others are you know, close to a million or in the hundred thousands. So we really don't want that in here. We just want murder rate. And so if we right click on this chart and select uh, the option for select data, you can see there's some options here for working with what's showing up. And here under series, we can select which columns are showing up in our chart. And so we want to select population and then click remove. And immediately you see your chart change. So instead of going up to 3.5 million, it's now going up to 86. And you can see much more clearly there are other numbers here. But still, we don't want the whole number because it's throwing off our chart. So we want to remove that as well. And we just want to compare the murder rates um, in these different counties. So you can see all we have left is murder rate. Um, and we have here the different columns representing the murder rate that goes up to 4. And once you select OK, you can see just these two columns are highlighted. So the agency is highlighted in purple, and the murder rate is highlighted in blue. Now you might want to make more changes to this chart to make it look the way that you want. And so one of the things you might want to change is the title, right? So murder rate of what, what year. Um, you might want to describe the data a little more. So we might, might want to say out of 100,000 people. Um, you can make custom changes to your chart by selecting on your chart, and then up here in the Options tab, clicking on Format. And under Current Selection, you have the option to select different pieces of that image. And so if I wanted to change the title, I could select that. And I could type in more. So I could type 2013. Um, I could type other information if I wanted. I could also change the colors and the way that these bars appear in this chart. So if I highlight series murder rate, which is talking about the data that's showing up here, 
um, and then I select format selection I can actually come in here and change the color of these um, and change the transparency of that color and I could even change it so they're all different colors I could add a border there's lots of things you can do um, to these charts so working with the format option you can go in and make custom changes to a lot of different points in your chart and you can go through and see each one now when you're finished you might want to save this so you can include it in an article or share it with people outside of this spreadsheet and you can simply do that by right clicking and selecting save as picture so you'll see this pop-up come up and it's defaulting to a PNG file type but you can switch to PDF, uh, JPEG, any other type that you want. And you can name it whatever helps you find it. So murder rate 2013. Um, and we'll put this on the desktop. So very easily I've created a JPEG file for this chart that I can now use however I want. So to summarize, in this video, we've talked about how to select and display different data from your spreadsheet um, and how to fine tune your chart to make it uh, custom to your needs and then how to save that chart.